Georg Friedrich Haas was one of the creator of a completely new paradigm. And in vain sounds like no piece you ever heard before. Yeah, this true. is a is a complete an enhancement of the senses if you hear this. When I first heard that in Vienna, I was shocked by the whole thing. It's so strong and so surprising what comes to you. This whole rainbow of sounds and you you have the impression that you hear electronic music and it's all done by acoustic instruments. You don't know where the sounds come from. And here I can, can come back to my argument anytime awareness is changed, awareness of sound and perception is changed, there is something political going on. This is a, in, this, in this shift of, of po the point of reference where you, where you are confronted with, some, with a new experience and you have to ask yourself, what am I hearing here? What is happening to me? And so the lights go out in the concert hall and you're sitting in the dark and these this sounds flood you. And I, I find it incredible because uh, um, uh, composers in the 80s, like Nono uh, said, on Berio said, there, there can't be a new sound. We have to, to focus on the grammar of sound, but there can't be any new sounds. We have explored it all. And it was also, Lachenmann sometimes said this, said the, the techniques developed in the string quartets and uh, in, in, in Acanto and whatever, they, they are at the border already. They can't be pushed further with the existing instrumental, uh, 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 the instruments are not further developed. He said this himself. But now there comes Georg Friedrich Haas and blasts the whole system and he it, uh, 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 creates something which, actually I repeat myself, which you've never heard before. And this is for me, it's, it's a gift and a wonder. I really have to say, and, and in vain is one of the most beautiful of this of this kind. Yeah, I have to tell. You.